Voodoo Fest goers will have more than just rain to contend with this weekend. They'll also have to fight for parking spots. Reporter Travers Mackle is in Mid City tonight with how people are boxing out for prime parking. As tens of thousands of people turned out to worship the music, some people living near City Park were praying for parking peace. Because of the festival, it gets parked up um, incredibly fast. Megan Finnegan even put out a barricade to stop Voodoo Music Festival goers from blocking her driveway. I've had cars towed from by the driveway right there in the past. And if you have to this year, you'll just do it well, again? Of course I will. <laughs> Absolutely. The city of New Orleans says it takes this issue and neighborhood concerns very seriously. The city has put additional no parking signs along Bayou St. John like this one. Also, six meter maids are here tonight. 19 more will be in this area tomorrow. And six wreckers are patrolling the area looking to tow anybody illegally parked. It gets problematic when there's the disrespect of your space and your driveway when it gets blocked. Has that happened before? Absolutely. So we ask that you do park legally because they will be enforcing parking as well. Our cameras even caught tow trucks in action on Friday night. And police officers will be making sure people have fun, but do so legally. We will have very high NOPD visibility, as well as we will have additional Audience Parish Sheriff's Office deputies out there um, enforcing the law as well. As it pertains to noise, headline acts could be heard for blocks and blocks, and depending on who you talk to, opinions vary. We don't mind it. It's only several days a year, and it's kind of nice to have the activity in the neighborhood. This is loud. It's just a noise. <laughs> but I'm not a music fan to it, that kind of music. A voodoo fest on Halloween weekend. Clearly, everyone experiences it differently. Reporting from City Park, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.